Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. tech stocks. And as you can see, they are doing horribly today. So this is going to be my daily forecast for February uh, for Welcome back. We are here looking at the tech stocks. This is going to be my daily forecast for the, the tech stocks in the United States for uh, Friday, uh, October 23rd, uh, 2020. And as you can see, they are doing horribly. So if you'd like to support this channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. So as you can see, most of the tech stocks have fallen at least 1% or nearly 2% in many cases. And uh, of course, this is mainly due to uncertainty. Is there going to be stimulus? Is not going to be stimulus? It was expected for most of these tech stocks to, to fall because we got way up ahead of ourselves and due to uh, main speculation that there was going to be a stimulus bill, which there probably is not going to be. Uh, whether or not this market can rally without a stimulus bill, some analysts say yes, some analysts say no. We have had several stimulus bills and, um, the, well, the, the, um, the tech stocks have done really well, but it's not due to the stimulus. That is due to people basically staying home and then they're able to buy these products anyway when they're home. Uh, so it is doubtful. Of course, it will spin, make a, a short-term um, uh, bounce in the market, but, um, but it will not go back to previous corona uh, market levels and so on. That's not going to happen. But if we look at the tech stocks, we can see uh, Facebook has fallen 1.3% in today. We are falling towards the 50 moving average. We rallied significantly yesterday, and now we're falling back towards the 50 moving average at $269. Technical indicators for, uh, for uh, Facebook are quite mixed. Uh, the MACD and the RSI are looking quite healthy, not the CCI. It's pointing to lower levels. Uh, the same goes to the stochastic, is showing signs of light, but I think you should pay attention to the Bollinger Band. We have pierced the top of the Bollinger Band. Usually this means that we fall back towards the 20 moving average in the Bollinger Band, and if that breaks, then we'll go to these lows. Um, if we break, break to the lows here at the Bollinger Band, that means that we'll go and test the 100 moving average. Uh, break to the upside, well... I don't think that's going to happen at this point, but if we do uh, break to the upside, then we'll go to these highs. But I don't want to expect that without any stimulus. So if you look at uh, Google, Google rallied yesterday and the day before, but now we have pulled back 0.2%, 0.18% at this point. Technical indicators for Google are also mixed. MACD, RSI, and the CCR are looking healthy, and the same goes as stochastic, but it is the Bollinger Band that I am going to pay attention to because we have pierced the, uh, the top of the Bollinger Band several times and usually when that happens, we fall back towards the 20 moving average and that is basically what I think is going to happen here. We are going to see uh, a little bit of movement to the downside today and then probably a lot of movement tomorrow towards the, the 50 moving average. Don't expect this market to break below that uh, before election or so on. And if there is um, a confirmation of a stimulus bill, then of course we may see this market break the top here and then go to the highs. If you look at Apple, we can see that we have broken down towards the, the 40 exponential moving average. We did pierce it, but at the moment we are trading above the 40 exponential moving average. We're down one point. 1% and if we break the 40 expansion moving average that opens the door to these levels at the 105 or at the 100 moving average at $106 a share. If we look at the technical indicators, they are all looking quite bearish at this point. The MACD, the uh, RSI, the CCI and the stochastic, but not least the Bollinger Band is showing signs that we have broke the 20 uh, moving average and are heading towards the lower part of the Bollinger Band at around 111. Uh, so we might find major support around this area here. So if we look at, uh, we have here Microsoft. Microsoft, we have broken down towards the 50 moving average. We found support there. 
Whether or not that holds, well, that's to be seen. But if that breaks, we'll fall down towards the 100 moving average. And that will definitely be a major support. As we can see that every single time we've got close to the 100 moving average, we have bounced from there. Technical indicators are fairly bearish at this point. So expect this market to go lower or trade sideways for the foreseeable future. A, a bounce from here, we'll see that we'll have resistance at these levels at the $224. So Netflix. Netflix had a horrible day yesterday. We were down more than 6%. Uh, and today we're down 1.13%. Uh, but I am not afraid of, uh, of this. This is a stock that I have basically been buying uh, yesterday and today due to the fact that every single time that we get close to the 100 moving average uh, or test the 100 moving average, we pull back from there. So and if we fall further, then we have the 150 uh, moving average just underneath. And of course, that will be more resistant and than the 100 moving average is. So uh, if we look at, for example, the, uh, the hourly chart for, for Netflix, we can see that most of these indicators are significantly overbought, for example, oversold, I mean, and they are also turning around. So it's just a matter of time and probably tomorrow that we'll see uh, a big green candlestick for Netflix, something similar to this. We'll break down below the 100 moving average, and tomorrow we break up towards the 50 moving average. Whether or not we manage to break through that, that is a question uh, that we have to see. But at the point, at this point, I was uh, anticipating a low of uh, 469, the major lows, and the highs here at around 573. So this is a stock that is not going to collapse. Even I don't really care what people say. Netflix is the um, one of the biggest companies in the world when it comes to streaming uh, online content. And uh, it will be that for the foreseeable future. This is also the stock that has been growing the most the last 10 years, I think uh, it was. So no reason for to be scared for this stock. This is basically a uh, a bargain to buy at these prices. So if we look at Amazon, Amazon has fallen towards the 100 moving average and uh, most likely will bounce from the 100 moving average. We'll probably fall a little bit more, even more tomorrow, and then we'll basically bounce. Technical indicators are looking quite bearish for, uh, for Amazon stock. We can see that we are, uh, we are, uh, in the MACD, as you can cross into signal line, the RSI is quite flat, and the CCI is quite bearish, and the so is the stochastic. But the Bollinger Band, we can see that we have a little bit of room to the lower part of the Bollinger Band, and it is not uncommon for us to basically touch the lower part of the Bollinger Band before going higher. So we're missing test layer. So Tesla, no, that was not Tesla. We have Tesla there. So Tesla has rallied today. And the reason is that they have uh, very good um, financial information about uh, how this company is going doing. Uh, so, of course, that is uh, a good news for this market. I think that was anticipated. That's why we basically had this breakdown in order to buy at the low level so that you basically can profit from this. So we're up 1.15% and... At this point, I do believe that Tesla will go to these highs at 465. If we break that, then we, of course, will go to even higher levels to the 502 and beyond that. This is an enormous um, popular stock. So every single time this falls below, towards the 50 moving average, people will enter and buy it. If you look at technical indicators, they are mixed, but they are not as bearish as they have been in previous days because this is turning around. You can see that the RSI has turned around completely. So as a CCI, the stochastic is about to turn around. The, uh, the Bollinger Band is pointing to a higher to, to the higher parts of the Bollinger Band. And the same goes for the MACD is about to turn around as well. So no interest in basically shorting this. This is, if you wanted to enter this market, you are technically too late. You should have entered it yesterday when we had this can candlestick here. So hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, by clicking this button down in the corner. 
hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.